everybody it's Teresa welcome to my channel I've got some finished jewelry to share with you all today these are not from any particular box or bag these are mostly just things I've made from beads I had in my stash except for this first set little set here I made these from some of the beads that came in the May 2023 Sam's bead box that my sweet friend Kira gifted to me uh, these larger flowers were called Czech Glass Camellia Crystal Gold AB, and they're 13 and a half millimeters. And the smaller flowers here were called Czech Glass Hibiscus Flower Dreamy Amethyst Mix Gold, nine and a half millimeter. And then these little beads in between here were check glass fire polish faceted round beads lavender amethyst and they're four millimeter and then i've just used a few little 11 o gold 11 o's from my stash and i used a toggle clasp and i dangled a little leaf charm off of it that i had in my stash and then i made a little pair of earrings here to go with it it's kind of hard to see these earrings against this brown card I think I'm gonna have to get me some white cards or something <laughs> but I just did uh, uh, use some of my German style wire and did some wire wrap loops on each side of the flower and then dangled one of the leaf charms off the bottom there and made and put them put them on some fish hook ear wires so that's that one hold on let me get the next piece these are a couple of pair of earrings I made just using circular peyote stitch. I, I did not invent circular peyote stitch. <laughs> There's lots of videos out there showing how to do it and uh, how to turn it into lots of different things, including earrings. These, I, I didn't put a drop at the bottom of these like I did these others. I just used some uh, galvanized silver delicas in the center there and then some galvanized or not galvanized but some blue delicas around there uh, around the silver ones and then I used some 11 0 galvanized silver between these uh, blue bicones around the outside that I that I put on here and then I attached it with a wire guardian and put it on some fish hook air wires I probably would have put a drop on the bottom of these but I don't think I didn't have a drop that matched them well and then these I used uh, the galvanized silver delicas in the center and then some sort of mint green colored delicas around that and then some galvanized silver 11 O's and some kind of mint green fire polish beads three millimeter fire polish beads around the outside there and then I had these drops that I had from a dollar bead box that I got back many years ago when I was subscribed to it I have a bad habit of hoarding beads and I, <laughs> I had hoarded these for a long time but I put these on the bottom of this and then just did the wire guard at the top and some fish hook ear wires on those too so those are those two ear pairs of earrings there so hold on let me get something else okay this one is just a little right angle weave bracelet that I, that I did from beads that I had in my stash and of course there it's multiple rows of right angle weave it's two rows I don't know if you can see that or not but it's two rows like the two little pearls on the outside and the two little bicones on the inside make one row and then the other row mirrors it on this side and I used some sort of peachy colored uh, four millimeter glass pearls on the outside and some clear bicones on the inside and some 11 uh, galvanized silver seed beads and I've done right angle weave multiple row right angle weave video before but I don't think I configured it exactly this way I don't remember but I don't think I did and then I just uh, did the put a couple of little four, of the four millimeter peach colored pearls at the top here to kind of frame it and uh, put a toggle clasp on there and I did that on both both ends here my husband saw me making this and he just really liked it and I told him if you think you can pull it off you can wear it but <laughs> he's not offered to wear it yet so I guess he's decided not to hold on let me uh, 
get another piece here. This is a necklace that I made that was inspired by a necklace that Gina of GGC's Treasure Bag and Gina's Gem Creations has on her channel. Uh, it's an older video that she's done. I, she's got two channels. One is for beginning beaters and the other one is for more advanced beaters. And I can't remember for sure which one this is on. I don't have to watch it anymore because I've made so many of these I can do it without watching the video. But I'll look and see. I think it's on the more advanced channel. I'll look and see and I will put a link to her video in the description box below. Her version is, this is a simplified version of the one she did. This is a tubular peyote with super duos. These sections are. And then the connection in between here is a unit of cubic right angle weave with 80 galvanized silver 80s. I started this intended to make it into a bracelet and then I was enjoying wave, uh, sewing it so much I just decided to use up all the super duos I had and turn it into a necklace instead. And I did some chain on the back here with a lobster clasp and extender chain and I hung a little leaf dangle off the extender chain. The one she does is uh, it, she uses sections of super duo like this in a the tubular peyote and she adds some sections of I think crystals and little glass pearls in there it's just really beautiful like I said I'll put a link to her necklace in the description box below so hold on I think I just have one more set here I'll be back okay this is a little set that I made here with this little cute pendant that I got from beadbox bargains I showed this to you all in a beadbox bargains order that I uh, unboxed with this pretty little rabbit down here and some little flowers here and I had these oval beads that I got from Beadbox Bargains it was like a pastel mix of oval beads and then I also had a pastel mix of some little I think these are three by four millimeter rondelles they could be two by three millimeter I'm not sure but uh, I used them and I did wire wrapped links with them and this is asymmetrical because on this side I did just the oval beads and on this side I did a few oval beads with some sections of the rondelles between and then I used some gold chain on the back here with a lobster clasp and put a little piece of extender on it and dangled one of the oval beads off the extender chain here. And then that's all I was going to make. And then I thought, well, I've got enough beads left to make a bracelet. So I might as well make a ma matching bracelet. So I did a matching bracelet using the same oval beads and the rondelles. And I used a few little 11 gold beads from my stash and did a toggle clasp. And then I thought, well, I've got enough beads left. <laughs> I might as well just go ahead and complete the set and make a pair of earrings. So I made a pair of earrings here. And I just used... Uh, two of the little oval beads and dangled them off the bottom here with the wire wrap loop and then did a, cup, a couple of little of the little uh, rondelles on each one with wire wrapped loops and attached them to some gold fish hook ear wires here. So that's my last set. So hold on, let me see if I can get everything in one picture. I'll be back. Okay, these are some pieces that I've made lately just using various beads from my stash mostly except for the bracelet and earrings up here that I used the beads from the Sam's bead box that was the May box it was called Waltz of the Flowers uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this video as always thank you so much for joining me today I really appreciate those of you who have subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and liked and commented on my videos I have a website where I sell my jewelry. It's Teresa's Handmade Jewelry, and I'll put a link to it in the description box below in case you're interested, along with a link to my Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and my email. If you haven't, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload a new video. So until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.
Thank you.